everybody, this is Praxis, and as you can see, to your left, we're still in a holding pattern on that concrete. It's just been too cold. We've been getting snow, and there was rain yesterday. It was like 50 degrees and pouring rain yesterday, and then it dove back down to single digits at night last night. It really has got to be above 20 degrees uh, Fahrenheit in order to do concrete, even with all like the special measures with heated blankets and everything like that. You know, it's just, it's just been too cold. And, and right now, it's starting to get kind of towards the end of the winter. And, um, you know, that might sound, oh, that's great. You know, you're, you know, you're going to be able to do it soon. But the problem is that we're off of a dirt road. And dirt roads oftentimes, especially here in New England, actually maybe only here in New England, uh, we have a season up here, and it's called mud season. And during mud season, lots of dirt roads close down to large truck traffic, which means if this thing doesn't get... Uh, set before mud season starts, the trucks can't get in here to even do it for two months. The mud season is usually between like May and, well, it's like April and May, and then June things open back up. Uh, and, and we're getting close to that period at this point. So I'm wondering like what's going to be the situation. And, and on top of that, I have to get lumber delivered. And I want to have, the ideal situation is have this all done and then deliver the lumber and have it park right up next to it. So it's like, you know, the lumber is right next to the work area. I can't do that if I don't have a foundation in there because I can't bring the lumber here and then have it be in the way for pouring the foundation. Now, do I have the lumber get delivered and put it way down there where it's out of the way? That would work and I could get the lumber in while the roads are still passable and everything. But then every single time I need a board, I gotta walk all the way down, walk all the way back. Repeat that thousands of times for every single board that's down there. And that's a lot of time spent just walking. And that, could, that would set the project back. So, so that's where I am. It's frustrating. I mean, it's been eight months since I started this process. Is that another military jet? There's been so many military jets going over, like more than usual. It makes me wonder whether someone's tipped off to something. I can't see this one. I can hear it, but I can't see it. But it's been eight months since I started this process, and I, I knew the procedures, I knew the questions to ask, I knew the people to talk to, and still, you know, this kind of stuff happens. It's frustrating, but it's, it's part of the deal. Yeah, it's a military chopper. A lot of those. And it's stuff like that that makes me really want to get going on this, because... At some point, all this stuff that we're talking about is going to become a thing. And I got to get this project done. <sighs> Thanks for watching.